And do you want to start or you want me to start? You can start. All right, I'll try. All right, third time's a charm. Hello everyone and welcome back to An Unscripted and Magical Life. Before we get started on this update video, I'd like to ask you to please like it, yay, and comment on it below and also subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed already as you will be able to stay updated much easier as we go along with this crazy journey that we were on. And speaking of the crazy journey, I have Tony here with me today. Hello folks. To discuss where we're at right now, um, where we're headed, and if we have any regrets, and what our thoughts have been. Yeah, it's been an interesting process because, uh, as you know, if you watch uh, some of our previous videos, we downsized our house and sold it. Uh, we've been selling off vehicles, we've been uh, taking stuff to the dump, to the auction, to Facebook Marketplace, to all Friends the, and family. Friends and family, all the things. Random strangers on the street with and signs. And it's been, we're stuff people. Yeah. And so it's been a very interesting process to kind of go through that. Um, I am much more sentimental than Kristen is, so it's been hard for me. And, and plus, all my family lives locally where we currently are. So you were in the house for how many years? 27. That's a long time to have stuff piled in a basement. Yeah, 27 years. And There's of course, a lot of storage in that when Kristen too. and I got together, we expanded it and built a one. Yeah. I said this isn't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> and now we're downsizing to 400 square feet. Yeah. So yeah, we've uh, officially closed our retail store, our last remaining brick and mortar business. Mm -hmm. We are prepping our new business, which is Ecom, and that's gonna be a future video, so stay tuned for that. You know, Kristen was talking about regret. I haven't really had any regret. Uh, making the decisions on what to keep and what to let go is kind of challenging, especially because we have a lot of gear, but we also have a lot of custom collectibles, uh, yeah. either commissions that we had Art from artists or you know others, uh, really high-end stuff that just isn't gonna travel well. Um, yeah, that's and, been really rough putting that away. Yeah. And not getting to enjoy it even in these last couple months before we get our rig. Cause... Yeah, like for instance, she had a, uh, a custom T-Rex made for me a few awesome. years ago that's probably, how high? 20... 20 some inches yeah. by 30. It's amazing and it was a, a, a custom sculpt. As we're waiting on our rig to arrive with all of the custom art that we have, one of the things that we've become painfully aware of is how little wall space we have and how many shelves that we have that would actually make sense to carry custom art, pottery, blown glass, all of those things. All my favorite things. In our mobile earthquake. Yeah, I've heard it's like 8.5 Richter scale going down the street. <laughs> yeah, so we, we've made our piece, we've come to terms. We have. Sort of. It's sort. Of. We have a plan that does not involve having those things in the RV, but we do have a plan to be able to enjoy them again. Yeah, and we're not going to disclose that just yet. Not yet. So I, I don't know that I would say I have any regrets, but also understand that it hasn't been without challenges. Um, just the downsize process alone um, has been very interesting. And as I mentioned earlier, you know I'm. I've been very nostalgic and so just coming across things from you know 5, 10, 20 years ago or whatever or whenever I was a kid, that's the one thing that this has really forced us to do is look at everything. That's been challenging but I don't regret doing it. If anything, it's forcing us to become a, a minimalist which I never <laughs> thought that I would even speak that I never that thought that word. word would ever come out of your mouth. I remember we first started watching. Uh, minimum, minimum, minimum. <laughs> we first started watching. Minimum, minimum. Minamilla. <laughs> when we first started watching the YouTubes, and we started with van lifers, like yeah. Karen, Nate, and, and some of the others, Eamon Beck, and we were like, there's no way. Yeah. We'd never be able to do that. And then we found Less Junk More Journey, and he's like, hey, these people have this cool channel. We need to check that out. And we're like, oh my word, their house is nice. You know, home on wheels and all that. And then we're like, maybe that could be something we could do on the side. 
not as a main gig. And I honestly don't know when we came up with the idea to do this full time and make this our thing. It's been two years, Cause, really. Because minimal is a, a minute, that word <laughs> was not part of the plan. <laughs> no, if, it, if we were Never. described as anything, it would be more like maximalist. Ma <laughs> maximalist, for sure. <laughs> we had seven storage units, if you remember from And 5,000 square feet in our house. And yeah, so we had about 6,000 square feet total. Retail stores. Well, I didn't count those in the 6,000 because that's just even more. That's even more. Yeah, but we've, we've had a lot of stuff and we've moved a lot of stuff, we've sold a lot of stuff, and we've given away a lot of stuff. Yeah. And honestly, I mean... That's been fun. There, it has been fun. There's been a few things that I'm like, I really could have kept that. I really liked that. But at the end of the day, most of the stuff will probably stop missing after a while, if we miss it at all. And most of it can be replaced. The stuff well, that can't be replaced is the custom art that we kept. Right. And that's the one shift that I noticed in our language is over the last month or two, um, we've shifted from, you know, get rid of, get rid of, get rid of, to still get rid of, but with the add-on of, well, if we still need that in the future, we can always buy it again. So that's how we're feeling. We're, yeah. we're excited. A um, little bit nervous because I honestly have no idea how much of our stuff we currently use is going to fit. Um, yeah, I see, have yes, a I have a feeling special. that all the downsizing that we've done, which has been extensive, that when the rig finally comes and it's time to move in, we're going to discover that it's not going to fit. Yeah. And so I've just already accepted that as fact. So thank you all for watching our craziness here as it unfolds. And we look forward to sharing more with you in the future as we get more things underway. We got some fun videos planned for the first couple months of the year here. And we'll see you all in the next one. We'll see ya. Our last day was, you know what? I'm looking right at the thing and I haven't looked at the lens once. <laughs> Yeah. And I have something in my eye. You gotta look at the lens. Yeah. Um, let's try this again. Okay. Leave us a comment in the description below and telling us what you think of this video and our thoughts that we're about to give an update, which is why I have him here with me today. That was really rough. That was really rough. Let's start again. That was horrible. I'm tongue tied. <laughs> Leave us a comment in the video below or in the description below. Base. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Serious? Come here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Taco Cat, meet YouTube. You're not gonna say anything now? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Story of her life. Uh huh.